Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist with Avid. In this video, I will take you through an overview of the S6 automation and master modules. The first module we will look at in this video is the automation module. It has the same power and network connections as the channel strip modules and is the same size as the fader module. The basic areas of control are the transport section, jog wheel section, attention track fader, locate controls and numeric keypad, and soft keys. The details of the soft keys area will be covered in a separate video. The transport section has all the basic controls, play, record, stop, fast forward and rewind, return to beginning, previous, next, and loop. The current operational jog wheel modes are jog, shuttle, zoom horizontal, and zoom vertical. Other wheel modes can be accessed from the soft keys, such as move selection, mark in and out points, zoom horizontal, vertical, and amplitude. You can also scroll windows horizontally and vertically on your workstation as well. The attention track fader is the same touch sensitive 100 millimeter TKD fader with complement of meters, switches, and OLED display found on the fader module. The attention switch is used from any fader on the surface to bring that channel to the automation module. The master module has two power and two network connections. The two power connections and one of the network connections are located underneath the module. The second network connection is connected to the rear panel of the master module. There are two ports to choose from. Port 1 is used if you are using an external DHCP server and port 2 is used if you want to use the master module to be the DHCP server. The master module is available in two different versions, the M10 and the M40. The M10 can connect and control up to 10 modules, two workstations, and is only available in three pre-configured systems, 8, 16, and 24 fader, 5 knob systems. The M40 can connect and control up to 41 modules, up to 8 workstations, and is fully modular. It can have from 8 to 64 faders with 0, 1, 5, or 9 knobs per 8 channel frame chassis. The master module consists of two sections, the lower section for access to global controls, monitoring, and soft keys, and the upper touchscreen section. The touchscreen is a 10-point touch surface allowing for multi-touch functionality. The global controls section allows the user to access settings and preferences, bank and nudge the surface, and other controls. The WS switch takes the touchscreen to the workstation page. From here, you can also access the surface configuration page, the about page where you can log out or shut down the system, and the settings page accessing global preferences. Those preferences include banking preferences, brightness and control timeout, solo, and displayed mode preferences. You can bank the entire console from the left and right banking switches. The banking preferences allow the user to set the console to either banks in groups of 8 faders or by the number of faders for the whole console, 16 faders with the system used in this video. You can also nudge the console by a single fader using the nudge switches. Using the shift switch in conjunction with the bank switches, you can return the console to its home position or bank the console to the end of the session. There are separate brightness controls for the touchscreens and the OLEDs, LEDs, and display modules. The auto preference will adjust all of these preferences based on the brightness of the room. The brighter the room, the surface will be brighter. The darker the room, the surface will get darker. There is also a preference to allow the surface to dim after a certain period of inactive movement in the room, measured by a proximity sensor in the master module. Once the surface dims, it will wake up when movement is detected in the room. Other preferences include setting how the workstation interacts with the surface when editing plugins, changing solo modes, and different display mode views. These will be covered in a separate video. The other controls in this section include the all switch, covered in the channel strip modules video, and the clear clips and solo switches. Other switches in this area will be covered in other videos. The monitor section has controls for control room output level, Control Room Speaker Out Select, Main, Alt, and Mini Speakers, Dim and Cut Controls, a Talkback Switch and Level Control, 
as well as minimal Q output control. A more comprehensive overview of the S6 monitoring capabilities will be covered in a separate video. So these are the high level overviews of both the S6 automation and master modules. We will dive deeper into using the master module in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.